Smartphones come in all kinds of different styles and colors. Once all the manufacturers and the industry kind of saturated with all the different kinds of materials they can use like polycarbonate, metal and glass, they then focused on how they can stand out by using the same materials with the help of colors and designs. And this is one of the trends that uh, we typically see companies like Huawei experimenting with. I think it was the P20 Pro which first came out with that uh, multicolored rainbow back which later on was popularized by many other phones including uh, Samsung's own Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I'm not really a fan of such a flashy color but I'm not going to lie this breathing crystal color from Huawei was a pretty iconic thing back when it launched. But now another Chinese manufacturer is trying to take it to the next level uh, that's Vivo. They are reportedly working on a phone or at least a design for the phone where the back glass can change color at will. Yeah, it doesn't change color with direction or based on sunlight. You can actually change its color when you want and as you want it. Pretty amazing, isn't it? In their demo video, they are uh, covering up the camera so we can't really see what's the phone model exactly. But the concept seems to be working uh, pretty well by what they have shown. Now it's revealed that they are using electrochromic glass which in case you don't know is the uh, same category of glass used in uh, OnePlus's Concept 1 smartphone. You know that one with their disappearing cameras. Basically electrochromic glass is a, a special variety of glass that can either change its opacity or its reflectiveness uh, depending on some voltage or heat or even light applied across it. So essentially by playing around with its materials and chemistry you can have that glass behave as you want. So in case of OnePlus Concept One they decided to make it opaque and transparent when required similar to the windshields on the McLaren cars it was mimicking. And here Vivo has decided to show off with colors. So I'm guessing the uh, back panel uses the uh, battery itself to get a voltage across it and I think you can control it with the help of uh, some kind of a software in a very similar way how you control the RGB of any of your other common devices. Of course it won't be very pronounced but um, I'm really glad that they didn't go for something over the top here. It's subtle but still very eye catching. It's definitely a head turner for sure. There are many phones that change color with direction and light but no phone can change its color on the back just when you're holding it in the same way. When they're done with this tech, I think they're going to launch it as a special edition variant on their uh, Vivo X50 series phones. You know the ones with the special gimbal stabilized camera and stuff. This kind of a tech seems to be a very good match for a high-end phone like that. If you want to learn more about the Vivo X50 Pro, there's a video on the iCards there, you can check it out. But other than that, yeah, that was a quick look at Vivo's latest color changing phone tech. It's pretty amazing how smartphones can be combined with technology taken from any other category. I mean electrochromic glass was meant for buildings and vehicles and now it's making its way into phones as a design choice. That's what keeps this industry so exciting and evergreen I guess. Well that was a look at Vivo's electrochromic glass tech. Is this something that you'd like to see in your next phone? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that said until next time, take it easy and I'll see you soon. Cheers.